Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Sarah from Year of Boxes. I am so, so, so excited about today's unboxing because it has been a while since I shared a Lit Love a Book box with you guys. I adore this subscription, especially now that summer's here. For some reason, usually I really love to read in the fall and winter, but as soon as the, like, the weather got nice and we started like sitting out on our um, deck and our patio, I just wanted to read all of the books. So I'm even more excited than usual for this subscription. Did I tell you that this is the May box? I feel like I'm already getting ahead of myself. So the May 2023 Lit Love Book Box. Now they are, I have to get this right, because I think it changed. $90 if you just do like a one box. And I think it's $85 a month if you do um, the subscription. And I think shipping is included in that. I'll put details down below so you guys can check that out. And um, I have a coupon code. I'm pretty sure it's still working. I'll link that down below. And Lit Love Book Box is a Canadian book subscription. They let you choose your book. So they release um, a few different books every month and then you get to choose or you can let them surprise you. I always let the owner surprise me. She's kind of gotten to know me um, and I always trust what she picks out. So anyways, I will link everything down below. In addition to the book, we get a bunch of goodies to go along with it. And the first up, one of my absolute favorite things to receive in a book subscription or just in general, if I can get this open. We have the cutest little coffee mug. You are amazing. I love it. Okay, I'm gonna go with this one next. So tucked in here, I think it's just a few different kinds of tea. Yeah, so there's there's a good amount in there. There's a little stash in there. Tea with tea, peppermint, traditional chai. Okay, I love both of those. So a bag full of tea, as you can see. <laughs> We also have Room and Body Mist. I appreciate that they package it in its own <laughs> Ziploc just in case it leaks. This is Black Cherry Mist. That sounds like it's going to smell very good. We always get snacks. So here we have twigs. I love these. I love these. Um, I haven't had this particular flavor yet. Buttery Herb and Garlic. Sounds really good. And we also have... <gasps> What is this? Cookie it up. Shorts? Double chocolate. Buttery bite size shortbread cookies. Okay. <laughs> Those sound good. Nor artificial colors flavors or added preservatives. That's the actual size. So just little bites. That's dangerous because when something's like just one little bite, I find myself just eating way more of them. Here we have our bookmark. Very pretty. We also have this. Is this a uh, yeah, car air freshener orange creamsicle. <laughs> Love it. We have a signed book plate. Very cool. And we have, oh, you guys. Oh, she tucked in an extra for me. So this is not part of the May box. This was um, one of the book selections, I think, for the April box. And I've like been so wanting to read it. So she tucked in an extra book for me. That's just so lovely. But this is the book for the May box. So she chose the last word. And let's just see. I'll give you guys a quick overview. Oh, it's the same author um, that wrote No Exit. And you guys, I read that. So creepy. So good. I couldn't put it down. I read it so fast. It's one of those like really quick reads. So same author. That's awesome. So Emma Carpenter's living in isolation with her golden retriever, house sitting in old beachfront home on the rainy Washington coast. Her only human contact is with her elderly neighbor and with the house's owner via text. One day she reads a poorly written but gruesome horror novel and um, posts a one-star review that drags her into an online argument with the author. Soon after, disturbing incidents start to occur at night. To Emma, this can't just be a coincidence. I won't keep reading, but that's the gist of it. <gasps> okay, now that I know it's the same author that did no exit, I'm really excited. So, quick recap. The last word is our book. We've got these little shortbread bites, our pretzels, our coffee mug, bookmark. Always happy to receive a new bookmark. 
car air freshener, room mist, signed book plate, and then our package of tea. I feel like I need to just take all of them out of here so you guys can see all of them. I should have done that in the first place. Love it. Chai, green tea, peppermint. Like there's one other one in there. English breakfast. So I've got my tea, I've got a snack, I've got a new coffee mug, two new books because the owner is so lovely. And I would love to know what you guys think. So make sure you comment down below. Have you tried this one before? Are you thinking about it? Do you have any questions about it? And as per usual, thank you so much for watching.